Hello children, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope all of you are fit and fine. Now at first, let me wish Shubho Bija to all of you. May Ma Durga bless you with happiness and success all year through. Now children, once again, it's time to get back to our studies. From today, we are going to start our final terminal syllabus. Okay. Those who have the books with you, please turn to page number 37. Those who have the books with you, please turn to page number 37. The Brave Teller, chapter 5, page number 37. The Brave Teller. So let's start. Long ago, a wicked giant came into a kingdom. That means the giant was very wicked. He was very evil. And you know who is a giant? A giant is a living being. It is also a living being. And it is of a great size and it has extraordinary powers unlike us. Now he was there in the kingdom and he troubled people and destroyed their homes. That means he was very evil, very bad. He troubled people and destroyed their homes. Many brave men tried to stop him but failed. Many people tried to stop the giant from damaging, from harming the people but all of them failed. One day the king announced a reward for the person who could defeat the the evil giant. Now what did the king do one day? The king announced a reward. That means the king said, I am going to reward the person who can defeat the giant. Now Z was a tailor. Z was a person who lived and lived there and he was also, he was a tailor. He was very young and wise. That means the giant was, sorry, uh, Z, the tailor was very young and very wise. I think all of you know who is a tailor. A tailor is a person who makes fitted, fitted clothes like trousers, uh, trousers, suits, jackets, etc. Okay. So the tailor went to the king and said, Your Highness, I can defeat the giant. Now what did the tailor say? That your Highness, I can defeat the evil giant. The king laughed. The king felt like laughing. He laughed. Said, you are still so young. How can you defeat a big giant? Now the king was very surprised. He said that you are very young. How can you defeat the evil giant? He is so big. By using my brain, O king, bowed Zed. Now Zed said, uh, said to the king that, I am going to use my brain and I am going to defeat the evil giant. Zed put a bird into one pocket. Oh, sorry. Then we need your help, said the king. Now the king agreed and asked Zed to defeat the evil giant. Zed put a bird into one pocket. He put some cottage, cottage cheese. Now children, do you know what is cottage cheese? It is fresh, fresh uh, cheese curd you can say. Okay. That soft white cheese which is made from curd. That we can say cottage cheese. So what did Z do? Z put a bird into one pocket and put some cottage cheese into the other. Then he set off to find the giant. Then he went to find the giant. Ha! said the giant. You do not scare me. Now what did the giant say? That do not frighten me. Do not scare me. I can squeeze water out of stone. Now children, what is me, uh, meant by squeezing? Squeezing means pressing something with, uh, with your fingers. Okay. That is known as, known as squeezing. Now what did, did the giant say? I can squeeze water out of stone. Can you? Now the giant asked Z that I can squeeze water out of stone. But can you? He picked up a small stone. And squeezed it hard. Who? The giant. Giant picked up a small stone and squeezed it hard. Water dripped through his fingers. Dripped means dropped. Water dropped through his fingers. Who's? The giant. That's easy, said Zed, taking the cheese out of his pocket. Now Zed was taking out the uh, cheese out of his pocket and said to the giant that it is very easy. He squeezed it. Water flowed onto the grass. Now what did Zed do? Zed squeezed the cheese and water flowed onto the grass. So the giant stood up. The giant was surprised. Ah, but can you do this? 
he threw a stone high in the air it took some time to fall to the to fall to the ground sorry z took the bird out of his pocket now what did z do z took the bird out of his pocket he threw it high in on into the air the giant feet waited for it to fall see the giant is so foolish the giant thought that the bird will come down but what did the bird do the bird had flown away the bird flew away you are strong you could be my brother now the giant said that you are very strong you can be my brother to whom did the giant say this to z now z uh, the giant crowd the giant made a uh, made a low rough sound and with anger he said that you can be my brother he took z to meet a bad genie now the giant took z to meet a bad genie now who is a genie children genie it's a magical spirit we have read in the arabian uh, traditional stories about genie uh, it's a magical spirit who does whatever the person who controls it asks now the giant and the genie were friends they talked for a while then they flew, fell asleep under a tree z filled his pocket with pebbles pebbles means small stones he climbed up the tree who z z climbed up the tree and the giant and the genie fell asleep under the tree now what did z do see z threw a pebble at the genie hey said the genie to the giant don't hit me that means the giant uh, the genie thought that the giant threw the pebble at the genie i did not touch you who said the giant the giant was very surprised and said that i did not hit you they fell asleep again again both of them fell asleep now z threw a pebble at the giant now this time z threw the pebble at the giant how dare you hit me who said the giant to the genie i was sleeping i did not touch you yelled the genie now the genie said that i did not touch you i was sleeping that means both were honest they both did not hit each other who was hitting them said yes but they did not understand now see what did what did they do oh yes you did screamed the giant but the giant thought the genie only hit him they began to fight both of them the genie and the giant started fighting amongst themselves they scratched they pushed they kicked fighting they ran into the jungle and never came back again both of them started fighting and went into the jungle and never came back the king was very happy he made z a soldier in his army and gave him many gifts now the king was very happy and he made z the soldier in his army and also presented him many gifts i hope all of you have understood the story those who haven't children please feel to ask me okay whatever doubts whatever queries you have i am going to clear them i am here to help you always okay uh, next day we are going to discuss the comprehension part page number 39 a and b okay uh, play with words we are not going to do okay only a and b comprehension part we are going to discuss the next day okay no more for today uh, and yes your homework will be please read the story again and again okay please read the story if you have any doubts any queries please feel free to ask me okay we are going to meet in the next class till then stay home stay happy and enjoy learning thank you